Okay, practice monohybrid question eight, uh, or sorry, uh, question three, page eight. So that's what you should see there. Let's go through the question. It says true breeding round plants. Now, this is under the assumption that that legend uh, uh, still exists for when we talked about seed shape. And we know uh, just from information in the past, capital R line means it's going to be a round. So round is dominant to wrinkled, which is represented by two little r recessive alleles. Okay, uh, so that's wrinkled. So uh, not every question will have that information uh, in it, uh, especially if it's been provided earlier and that uh, it may not have that. So there's our legend. So let's go underline the parents. It says a true breeding round plant is crossed with a true breeding wrinkled. Now, if you remember some of the terminology in the first part of this unit, we talked about true. Uh, if it's true or pure, what that means is homo. Homozygous. Okay, meaning it's true, it's the same. Those alleles are going to be the same. So if it's round, go back to our legend, it has to have at least a capital R. But because it says true, that means both alleles are going to be capital R's. Same thing for a true breeding wrinkled. We know that's the case because the only way you can be recessive is if you are homozygous recessive or, or true breeding uh, wrinkled in this case. So there's our genotypes. What is the probability now of a round seed plant in the F1 generation? Now this one wants you to express your answer in a whole percentage. Okay, so if we do that cross, let's go to now step three, which is the Punnett square. We isolate those genotypes into gametes. It doesn't say which one's male or female, so we can just arbitrarily put the big R's on top, little R's down the side. Again, this would indicate sperm. Those are the actual gametes. You don't have to draw those, but let's just remind what we're actually doing with the Punnett. And now fill in those genotypes. If that A got fertilized by this sperm, you're going to have a round offspring. And keep filling them in. I think we've done that enough now that people are starting to understand how to fill that Punnett square in. And you can see that all of these are going to be round. They want it in a percentage. Whole percent means there's no decimal places. That would be 100% of your offspring are going to be round. Okay, thanks guys.